All right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. Today we are looking at Gradle Combat. So I'm not the biggest fan of Gradle, so I played Gradle very, very little, very little. Uh, I believe it was Vitamin Y Season 5, which is forever ago, because we've been doing Vitamin Y live stream. But, uh, and it hasn't shown up in Vitamin Y live stream. I used to have a Gradle Yubel deck, and it was, <laughs> like, like, Yubel's, some, some, some decks, the synergies there, some others not, and that was one of the decks where it was just like, okay, well, Yubel destroys the Gradle. It's like, I guess, you know? Uh, I mean, there are some synergies with the monster effects, some synergies with the traps, but overall, not the greatest of decks, and that's really why you haven't seen on Vinyl Live Stream. Outside of that, I've not really played Gradles. You know, I play Kaijus, but I don't play Gradles, so. Uh, but I totally don't mind reviewing the cards on here. I, I have a general idea of them. Gradles, they came out, and they came out to the struggles. They came on the set, same same set as Magic Spectre, and it's like, hey, all y'all target? We don't get targeted, and of course, freaking, like, Cosmos, so. Gradle's really not done much, you know? Yeah, we saw a little bit of the, the annoyingness and anti-meta freaking Gradle Kaiju, but that's literally like, hey, I have an entire deck of Snatch Deal with an entire deck of Olive Gold. Doesn't that sound fun to play against? But uh, anyway, Gradle's got, uh, they got their Gradle Slime Jr. revealed that, and then they got this Counter Trap card, so let's go ahead and review this card. So, Gradle Combat. Uh, I mean, the card art is interesting. <laughs> uh, Gradle's, uh, Gradle Slime just took a blast to the face, and then I guess it's like separating off to Gradle Slime Jr. I, I think this is the origin of what happened and how Gradle Slime Jr. was met, so it's kind of like a, like, oh, I'm dying, let me go ahead and, you know, release this baby version parasite off of me, so m while my real body dies, I'll live on to Gradle Slime Jr., like, I guess. God, just a look at this, the look on Gradle Slime's face, it's like, I, it knows it, it's dead, rip, rip, it, it took a castell to the face and it was gone. <laughs> took a solemn strike and it, it was dead. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and actually look at the card. So it's a counter trap. I mean, a spell speed three. Can't complain about that. Uh, when a spell slash trap card or monster effect is activated, it targets exactly one Gradle monster you control, and no other cards activate one of the following effects. Yeah, I don't like that it says target. I really don't. I mean, Gradle Combat is searchable through Gradle Impact, but so slow because you play Gradle Impact and then you search during the end phase and then next turn you set it and then it's activated like like this is a little slow like uh, it's partially Gradle Impact's fault but this being a trap card doesn't help either and like I said I don't like the targeting like if it was just straight up like well uh, let me finish reading the card but literally it's like the first effect where the effect becomes destroy that monster or negate the activation if you do destroy that card so it's either or it's one of the following effects that you can activate I mean, I get that says targets because if it didn't say target, then how do you know that you're going after that monster? But I wish that it didn't. I mean, Gradles are kind of shitty. They really are. They're, they're annoying. They're annoying, but they're shitty. And when everybody in their mother is going to have access to Utopia the Lightning, ask him if he gives a shit about Gradles. <laughs> exactly. So, I wouldn't mind if this dude just said that when a spell trap or monster effect is, is activated, period, you negate that activation and it becomes target a monster your opponent controls and destroy that monster. That way, you would get the effect of the great uh, of your Gradle monsters, depending on what you destroyed, and you would pretty much have your own, uh, your own guest barrier, Infernity Barrier. Like, it's just like, this card is like Dark Illusion, so the shittier Gradle get Dark Illusion, who cares, you know? But, Fucking Yang Zing, which is already a great deck. No, that, that right there, that deck gets the Synchro Monster that can search out the Infernity Barrier, you know? It's just like, it's not fair. It's not fair. Like, if anything, I'd, I'd rather have this archetype have it. Like, if you want to go ahead and play Gradle Impact, then during your end phase, search your Divine Wrath, and then set an extra, like, you have to wait a whole fucking turn. So, she's like, why, why did it have to be Target the monster? Why? Why? And then... The whole, you choose to destroy that monster instead, that's really situational. Like, if we changed it and and we took out the target part, so it's just when a spell trap or monster effect is activated, you negate uh, the effect and change it to target one card, target one monster your opponent controls, destroy that monster, that card would be perfectly fine, you know? Especially since what card you activate, it becomes that effect, so that is dependent on which greater monster you destroy, you know? So, whether it be Ego, Cobra, or... Alligator, I think it's alligator, is it crocodile? I think it's alligator. Is it one of the two? One of the, one of the fourth tooth? I don't know. Fucking crocodile, alligators. Anything. Anyway, when you play this and then you negate that card, depending on what it is, that monster, that card's effect becomes what you're destroying. So, for example, if I have an eagle 
and this card set, you go into cast stealth to try to spin me away. I activate this. Cast stealth effect, which is a monster effect, becomes destroy that monster, which means that now my equal is destroyed. And because I was destroyed by a monster effect, you know? Uh, there's not too many targeting spells or traps. I mean, it's not like anybody's really playing like Compulse or Book of Moon or anything along those lines. But I'm just saying, you know? Like, if anything, it protects you from cast out. And they could just go into Utopia Lightning. Or Dweller. <laughs> so it's, it's just. <laughs> it's not that great. And then, of course, you could just negate that duration if you do destroy it. So it's literally the Dark, dark Illusions. Like, overall, I don't like it. I don't like this card. It's slow. It's it's really unnecessary. And when it's like, hey, I block from Castell, but what about Utopia Lightning or Dweller? No, I don't block against that. Like, oh. Or, and, I mean, of course, Gradle. It's the element of surprise. You know, once I know you're playing Gradle, you know you're getting <laughs> uh, Utopia Lightning or, Cast or, or Castell or Dweller. And those are mostly the mostly the most played rank fours you know it's castell dweller utopia utopia the lightning those are the four that you play if you have room for your rank fours so all four of them fuck up gradles and now this one's like hey well i got castell what about the other two overall not a great card not a great card slow and gradles are slow and like i said i wish i kind of wish it was just a barrier why why did it have to be that you target the gradle monster i couldn't just be just activated period oh well Back to the drawing board with Gradle shit, because they are still just ass dog, ass. Like, they are, <laughs> they are not good. They have never been good. <laughs> they're annoying, yes, but fucking ghost tricks are annoying, but they're not competitive or seen any semblance of that. <laughs> I think ghost tricks are better than training Gradles, but hey. Anyway, tell me what you guys think about Gradle comment in the combat in the comment section below so i hope that you guys enjoyed this card review of course i'll be back on wednesday with another card to look at so thanks for watching thanks for support and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching